Okay, bender parts, part two. Um, yeah, the most amazing thing happened overnight. Check this out. I was uh, on my way into the shop today and I come around the corner and uh, you know, in the van you don't get to see a whole lot, but you do see the magical scrap fairy showed up in the middle of the night. They must know I'm in town. We're going to be borrowing some of that stuff. I'm sure most of it will go to Metal Recycle, but there's a few pieces I think we're going to use. Anyway, where did we leave off? Yes, with those two pieces. We were cutting these guys up. Um, pretty simple. We used the portable band saw with a table on it. Um, that goes pretty quick. Uh, the thickness of the blade keeps us from doing any tight turns, though, so we have to take it in many bites. And uh, here's our miscellaneous scrap that makes up that circle centerpiece anyway. on the inside and then um, we need to uh, sand on this corner here wait let me make this easier Boink. We need to sand on that corner there <laughs> Buzz, buzz. When you leave things laying in the path of your footway, you're gonna trip. <laughs> hey guys, while that thing was cooling off, I uh, saw that it was sprinkling outside and the coolest thing happened, man. We ended up with a rainbow. Yeah, rainbows are cool. Well, that's a good one too, and look. Da bing! Lucky me. Okay, we got a couple of tack welds on there uh, to hold our piece that we made, that I made, me and the mouse in my pocket. And I went ahead and loosened the gland nut because I don't want to melt the seal under here. Whoa, that's precarious. I only have it balanced with the C-clamp and that flimsy hose. Anyway, we're going to pull this guy off. Okay, now down inside there, what we got is... We got the ram and then the internal cylinder that's where our ram is at essentially that's our hydraulic ram and then this is a reservoir so um i wanted to take the gland nut off so that it, we didn't melt this plastic seal and also um we can let any hot air and smoke and stuff out of there because we're going to buzz that up permanent because um, we're not going to ever use this anywhere else. I didn't need a mount that was going to be bolted on. And if you look, that material is pretty substantial. It's like 11 gauge material throughout um, this whole can, especially on this end where it's squished. So pretty strong around here. And um, I think the rest of the can is just a little bit over 12 gauge material. So overall, not a whole lot of strength going on in that can. Even if you were to have a clamp that whoop, bolted on that, it's still only 18, I mean, uh, excuse me, 12 gauge material. So uh, let me get to buzzing this thing up. We'll let the smoke out. I also uh, removed the little plug out of there. Boop. Don't want the pressure to build up. 
Anyway, let's get busy on this. Rainbow. I like rainbows. Well, there she is, all put back together. Try to get a nice sweet weld on there. It's going to be on there for, well, forever. And uh, uh, moving on. Um, I found this old receiver hitch here. And just so happens if we flip it up like that, we got Mr. Magic Tape Measure here. The distance between the center of that hole and where it blows off the edge right there is just right to go right here. So, I think we're going to make some legs on this. Three legs. Um, one in the direction that it doesn't need load bearing and then two spread out as like don't tip me over feet but this guy can bolt right on there and then we'll have our feet come down that'll be off of the ground then we can hook our ram on it and we'll be good to go let's finish this up Finished it up. Here it is. Check it out. 